Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sammy and this is Harley's Dollhouse. My good friend Crystal Fancies hosted a collab based on the video game Skyrim. I was really excited to join and I was really excited when she told me about the idea. And Skyrim has a lot of really cool characters. I wasn't sure which one to do. My husband suggested I should do Nocturnal. So let's get started on her. The base I chose for Nocturnal is a Descendant doll. This one is Evie. I already rerouted her with black acrylic yarn that I'll brush and straighten off camera later on. Uh, I really like the Descendants bodies because they're very curvaceous and that fit her character very well. And I have her already prepped by removing her face and spraying her with some MSC. So let's go ahead and get started on working on her face. I am using my light brown watercolor pencil to go ahead and start drawing out her facial features. bunch of different reference photos for Nocturnal. Uh, sometimes she looks like she had black eyes, sometimes she looked like they were maybe kind of gray or white. So I started with a light gray base and I just kind of shaded it in with some black on the top and then went really heavy on the white on the bottom part of the iris to kind of make her eyes look like they're glowing.
since Nocturnal is considered the mother of the night or the mistress of the night, I wanted to give her like a dark smoky eye to kind of fit that and to make her look more mysterious since she hides in the shadows. Nocturnal has a low cut uh, cloak outfit. I definitely want to do some detailed blushing, blushing around the, or definitely around the chest area because she has a very full chest and I wanted to create the illusion that the doll does as well.
So for Nocturnal's outfit, I did do a rough draft of the pattern. Um, it's not perfect. Eventually, I would like to have it perfected and upload it and share it with you guys. And if you guys would like, I could do a separate video uh, showing step by step how to put the outfit together. If you guys would like that, let me know in the comments down below. So here's the rough draft of the pattern that I kind of put together for her. Uh, it's not perfect. I definitely need to tweak it a little bit, but it'll do for now. So right here, uh, I'm going to sew up the side seams on the top part and also add some gold trim around the neckline and around the end of the sleeves. And for the sleeves, I'm going to sew them right sides together, starting from the armpit to the end of it. Because her, in the outfit I saw, she, it's like open on the side. So we're just going to start from the armpit and going down. And for the hood part of the cloak, I borrowed this from a free Monster High pattern. I will leave the link down below for that. But I'm just going to stitch the hood just at the top of the shoulders. And I forgot to film this part of where I made the two, made the front and the back piece of the cloak pattern. But this is the kind of basic shape of what it is. It's just like a little rectangle piece. And I just sewed that one side to the front and one side to the back. And here is her finished outfit. Uh, some pictures show that she had like a rope around her waist. So. I had this bow leather cord that worked out perfectly for that. I decided to sew her outfit to her. I couldn't find my velcro so that was kind of my only option at the moment. And also I had an issue with her neckline kind of slipping off of her chest so I used a little bit of fabric tack and glued, glued it to her. Here's Nocturnal's final photos. I really loved how she turned out and also everyone's work turned out really amazing. Crystal made a slideshow to show off everybody's work. I will leave that link down below. If you haven't seen it already, you should go check it out. And thank you Crystal for hosting a really fun collab. I'm really glad I got to be a part of it. Also, if you would like to purchase Nocturnal, I will have her on sale on my Etsy shop and I'll have that link down below. All right guys, thank you for your love and support for my channel as always. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have a new video up. All right, see you next time, bye.